Which of the following is okay to find in the air brake system? A. Oil. B. Air. C. Water. D. All of the above. Answer. B. Air. Air loss in a single vehicle, not a combination unit, should not be more than underscore with the engine off and the brakes on. A. 1 psi in 30 seconds. B. 1 psi in 1 minute. C. 2 psi in 45 seconds. D. 3 psi in 1 minute. Answer. D. 3 psi in 1 minute. The vehicle must have a warning device which comes on when the air pressure in the service air tanks falls below. A. 40 psi. B. 50 psi. C. 60 psi. D. 80 psi. Answer. C. 60 psi. If the air system should develop a leak, what will keep air in the air tanks? A. The governor. B. The tractor protection valve. C. The emergency relay valve. D. The one-way check valve. Answer. D. The one-way check valve. Which brake system applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal? A. The emergency brake system. B. The service brake system. C. The parking brake system. D. None of the above. Answer. B. The service brake system. When using the parking brakes or emergency brakes, what type of pressure is being used? A. Fluid pressure. B. Spring pressure. C. Air pressure. D. Any of the above. Answer. B. Spring pressure. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes applied should not be more than a. 1 psi in 60 seconds. b. 1 psi in 1 minute. c. 2 psi in 45 seconds. d. 3 psi in 1 minute. Answer. d. 3 psi in 1 minute. Air brake equipped vehicles must have a. At least 3 air tanks. b. A hydraulic braking system in case the air system fails. C. An air pressure gauge, to show the pressure available for braking. D. An air application gauge, to show air used by the brake chambers for braking. Answer. C. An air pressure gauge, to show the pressure available for braking. Which of the following statements about brakes is true? A. The heavier a vehicle or the faster it is moving, the more heat the brakes have to absorb to stop it. B. Brakes have more stopping power when they get very hot. C. Brake drums cool very quickly. D. All of the above. Answer. A. The heavier a vehicle or the faster it is moving, the more heat the brakes have to absorb to stop it. Three different systems are found on modern air brake systems, service brakes, parking brakes, and A. Emergency brakes. B. Foot brakes. C. S cam brakes. D. Drum brakes. Answer A. Emergency brakes. The purpose of engine retarders is to A. Provide emergency brakes. B. Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. C. Apply extra braking power to the non drive axles. D. Help prevent skids and slides. Answer B. Help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. To use the stab braking technique during emergency braking, you A. Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. B. Brake hard with the pedal until the wheels lock, then get off the brakes until the wheels begin to roll again. C. Brake hard with the pedal until the wheels lock, then get off the brakes for as long as the wheels were locked. D. Brake hard with the pedal and hand valve until you stop. Answer. B. Brake hard with the pedal until the wheels lock, then get off the brakes until the wheels begin to roll again. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, it's there too. A. Get rid of alcohol that condenses in the air tanks. B. Let the driver skip the daily tank draining. C. Increase tank pressure the way superchargers boost engines. 
D. Reduce the risk of ice in the air brake valves in cold weather. Answer, D. Reduce the risk of ice in the air brake valves in cold weather. If your vehicle is equipped with an alcohol evaporator, every day during the winter you should. A. Check the alcohol level and fill if necessary. B. Change the alcohol with a new bottle. C. Oil the system with 5-weight oil. D. Drain any alcohol that has accumulated. Answer, A. Check the alcohol level and fill if necessary. The air supply pressure gauge shows the driver how much pressure. A. Has been used in this trip. B. Is available in the air tanks. C. Is being sent to the brake chambers. D. None of the above. Answer, B. Is available in the air tanks. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy commercial motor vehicles is A. Disc B. Wedge and drum C. S-cam drum D. None of the above Answer, C. S-cam drum A straight truck or bus air brake system cannot leak more than how many side per minute with the engine off and the brakes released? A. 1 PSI B. 2 PSI C. 3 PSI D. 4 PSI Answer, B. 2 PSI How do you check the free play and manual slack adjusters? A. Stop on level ground and apply the emergency brakes. B. Park on level ground, chalk wheels, release the parking brakes and pull slack adjusters. C. Park on level ground and drain off air pressure before making adjustments. D. Apply the service brakes by hand at the brake chambers and watch the slack adjusters move. Answer. B. Park on level ground, chalk wheels, release the parking brakes and pull slack adjusters. Which of the following answers is most correct about brake use on a long and steep downgrade? A. Use the braking effects of the engine. And when the vehicle speed reaches the safe speed, apply brakes firmly until vehicle speed is reduced to approximately 5 miles per hour below safe speed. B. Use stab braking. C. Use only the trailer brakes to maintain safe speed. D. Apply brakes when the vehicle speed reaches 5 miles per hour over safe speed and then release when speed of vehicle is back at the safe speed. Answer, A. Use the braking effects of the engine, and when the vehicle speed reaches the safe speed, apply brakes firmly until vehicle speed is reduced to approximately 5 miles per hour below safe speed. When a failure occurs in the service brake system, the system you need to use to stop the vehicle is the A. Parking brake system B. Emergency brake system C. Drum brake system D. Hand brake system Answer, B, emergency brake system. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to A, release the emergency brakes to move a short distance. B, apply more brake pressure for stopping if the main tank is getting low. C, stay parked without using up service air pressure. D, balance the service brake system while you drive. Answer A. Release the emergency brakes to move a short distance. The air compressor governor controls A. The RPMs of the air compressor B. Whether the compressor is in good condition C. Air pressure applied to the brakes D. When the compressor will pump air into the storage tanks Answer D. When the compressor will pump air into the storage tanks when you have to make a quick emergency stop, you should brake in a way that allows you to A. Steer hard while braking hard B. Use the full power of the brakes and lock them C. Continue in a straight line and maintain steering control D. Burn up the handbrake first Answer. C. Continue in a straight line and maintain steering control what turns on the electrical stop light switch in an air brake system? A. Spring pressure B. Hydraulic pressure C. Air pressure D. The driver Answer. C. Air pressure In air brake equipped vehicles, you use the parking brakes when 
a. Slowing down. b. As little as possible. c. Whenever you park the vehicle. d. Only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. Answer, c. Whenever you park the vehicle. What will determine how effectively the spring emergency brakes or the parking brakes work? a. The condition of the service brakes. b. This can only be tested by trained brake service professionals. c. The adjustment of the service brakes. d. Braking power will increase when the service brakes are hot. Answer, c. The adjustment of the service brakes. A combination vehicle air brake system cannot leak more than how many side per minute with the engine off and the brakes released? A. 1 PSI B. 2 PSI C. 3 PSI D. 4 PSI Answer. C. 3 PSI The brake pedal A. Is the main control in the system B. Can be a foot rest during normal driving C. Controls the air pressure applied to operate the brakes. D. Exerts force on the slack adjusters by rods and connectors. Answer. C. Controls the air pressure applied to operate the brakes. During normal operations, the parking and emergency brakes are usually held back by A. Air pressure B. Spring pressure C. Centrifugal force D bolts or clamps? Answer, A, air pressure. Why should you not fan the brakes on and off during long downgrades? A, air usage is less when fanning. B, brake linings do not get hot when fanning. C, the short time off the brakes does not allow for brake cooling. D, none of the above. Answer, C, the short time off the brakes does not allow for brake cooling.